Magicycle has just released a brand new bike called the Deer. I was very blessed to be able to get a chance to go and test ride this bike to get a review put together for the launch and I gotta say this bike is pretty amazing. If you are in the market for an off-road bike, this is the bike you definitely want to take a look at. For the price that you get for this, it has some of the best specs on it and it is a really powerful bike. So for those of you who wonder who is this bike really going to be for, I want to address that first and foremost. This is a bike that is a little heavy. It's at 92 pounds, so you do need to be a stronger rider. It is also taller, so although there are some specs on it that says that it is actually rated for 5.5 and above, I would actually say there's other specs that they do say 5.8 and above. I would say that is probably more likely the size of a person who might want to ride this bike. At 5.5, I had no problem riding it. It fit really well. You can adjust things so that even your reach doesn't feel like it's overextending. But just keep in mind it is heavier and because of the height of the bike itself being higher, when you do come to a stop at 5.5 or any below 5.8, you're gonna have to lean and be able to hold up 92 pound bike. So keep that in mind, this bike is heavier it is powerful it does hit that 28 mile an hour mark really easily on throttle only and it can really outperform so many other bikes that are just not made for off-road key reason full suspension on this bike front and rear and it feels like it's riding on a cloud no matter how much of the bumps that you're going through it just just eats it up with the power that you get behind it as well with a 52 volt battery pushing to that 750 motor it's a magnificent ride off-road so that is one of the things off-roaders are really gonna like now it doesn't mean that that's where you want to keep it if you want to take it on the road on the regular bike lanes and on paved roads it worked great in fact it's really comfortable it's kind of because of with the full suspension even with the little rocks and pebbles or the tree root bumps that you might be hitting on some of those trails rides like a cloud so you can ride it either way. It does not come with the rack on the model that I had gotten. I don't know if my is gonna be adding it when they do do the launch, but uh, you can add a rack to it that's an extended rack and it will be able to carry, do, uh, do a lot of carrying for you. So you can use it as a commuter bike if you want to. But take a look at the video. In the beginning, we're gonna be starting off with some ride footage of me taking it all over the place. And then we're gonna move into the full specs of this bike. I think they're gonna make a name for themselves as an off-road um, manufacturer or one that can compete well in the off-road market the pricing that you have for the specs the specs that you'll be getting for this is amazing so don't forget look in the description below that link below will take you to the magic cycle website it is an affiliate link so it does track if you do make a purchase i do get a credit for it and i really appreciate that because it helps to support the channel as well or there will be any discount codes below if magic cycle has any for this particular bike or any of their bikes you can also look in the description for that thank you again for watching and let's get started in the review what you are seeing here is the unboxing of the Magicycle Deer. This bike took a little longer than most of my other bikes to go ahead and put together. Uh, for one thing, it is a lot heavier and the other thing is that uh, Magicycle did ask me to remove the fender which took a little while to figure out without having to remove the back wheel. But for the most part, all you really need to do is install the front tire. As in, as you can see, I do put flat out tire sealant in all my bikes. This is the front and I do put it on the rear on this one, especially because I knew I was going to be taking this bike off road. So once I had flat out both in the front and the rear, then I also just adjusted everything on the bike to make sure that it was going to be fit to my size. And I also needed to put on the front headlight, which didn't take very long. Just uh, getting everything put together the adjustments just to make sure that it fit for someone my size and i was ready to go and i just had a blast with this bike
let's go over the specs of this Magic Cycle Deer. And we're gonna start with the front tire here, or the front of the bike. And I want, first wanna point out that we have 180 millimeter disc hydraulic brakes. And these brakes are actually really responsive. It's very, very smooth, soft to the touch, it's great stopping power along the way. And as we move a little higher up here, you see on the fork, we have a suspension fork. And on this side, we have our preload adjustments. And on the other side there, we have our lockout. So you can kind of control how much suspension you want on that front. It really makes help the, uh, the ride just be really smooth for the magic cycle. As you can see, as we move toward the middle of the bike, looking at this frame here, it's just a beautiful design. There are three different f uh, colors that you'll be seeing on this bike when it does launch and come out. Uh, looking at the cockpit here or starting with the left side of the handlebar, you have your basic uh, on and off, up and down, holding the top button there, it turns on the bike. And you see you have a beautiful color display, which is kind of on all of the magic cycles because it works so well with a really easy to read screen. And as we go up, we have seven different pedal assists that you can see here. And that is usually pretty much adjustable as well. Like I said, this interface that they put on our display has a lot of versatility to it. By hitting the middle button, you'll see on the left lower side the different uh, features that we have that you can cycle through. Odometer, speed, trip, your max top speed. And you're holding down the up and down buttons at the same time we'll get into this really easy to use menu as you can see here just kind of cycling through the different settings you can put password you can change it for kilometers to miles per hour and of course the brightness speed limit feature here by clicking on that you can adjust the top speed wheel size i mean it's super easy to go through very intuitive in fact one of the most intuitive uh displays i've seen so far now looking a little lower on the bike here you'll see that we have this just a uh, beautiful design integrated battery that's here with their name branding and as we go a little lower to the bottom, you also see this is where they actually house the controller is probably in there and it goes up to 22 amp controller, which is really awesome. Now, this is the highlight of this bike. I think it's right here. This, the rear suspension is on the backside here, which makes you feel like you're riding this bike is being ridden on a cloud. Great for off-road uses as well. Here you see a close up of the fat 20 by four inch fat tire. And we're looking directly at the 750 watt motor that puts out up to about 1100 watts total on that and this is the rear disc brake that we have at 180 millimeters again hydraulic there and the rack has been removed or the fender has been removed so that's what you see one extra hole there but it does come with the fender and i took that off you know as you can see with the kickstand here we have a lot of clearance so that you don't get pedal lock as well on freewheeling uh looking at the top here of the bike and the saddle that we have it's a really nice wide saddle and it's super soft to me i could be riding and sitting on this seat all day long this is the kind of seat that really makes the ride very very comfortable you have your seat adjustment here as you can see we don't have an integrated tail light for this bike so it does come with a reflector but uh, it does not have a rear tail light which you can easily add one for just a few dollars literally you can put a, your own tail light if you want to coming up closer here we have a seven speed shimano gearing with our altus derailleur and this actually makes really for a nice ride it's a 14 to 28 tooth uh back on the back side and then we also have our front chain ring it's a 48 to 170 millimeter alloy chain ring with a double guard a dual sided uh, bash guard or protection to keep your chain from from coming off so this is something i really really like that it's just made so that you can go around with a lot of confidence that you don't have to worry about it again it is aluminum that we have on the back side there just beautiful it really reminds me of the transformer bumblebee when i look at this color Again, moving closer, you have the ESUV labeling that they put there. Kind of subtle, but really kind of neat to have it being called an SUV of a bike. 52-volt battery uh, for Magicycles. And that's another thing that puts out a lot of torque, up to, I believe, 90 newton meters on this bike. And uh, as we're looking at the brake handles, we have the Bengal hydraulic brakes like i said they're very soft to the touch you have your uh, shifter at the top which is a seven speed shifter and this is the the left side you're looking at the bengal again hydraulic brake handles uh from the back side here super soft really really like the fact that they're putting hydraulic brakes on this type of bike which is kind of needed with the amount of speed that you get and the weight of this bike this bike does weigh i think it's low 90s about 92 pounds so it is a little heavy uh because of the solid just solid performance that you're going to get from this you have a half twist throttle and again your seven speed sis Shim, uh, shimano shifter this shifter is very functional you know, going up and down between the different levels and of course your half twist is just really easy to use and uh, with a, also full leather type grips on your uh, both sides of the handlebars make it really good again here's the, your bottle cage 
uh, or a bottle holder and then i also have my cell phone holder and my speedometer these are not part of the bike these are accessories i added as you can see we also have really nice cable management done by magicycle they really tie things up nice and neat there um the cable that's on the bottom that's going to the headlight is something that's attached while uh, installation is being put together that can be also uh, added to the the cable management as far as making it a little more tighter in there but i put this bike together going out there didn't realize that it was hanging a little to the side and of course as you can see it does connect itself on there but here's the light going on and off and um it's not a super bright light but it is very functional and where people can see you you may not be able to light up the whole path in front of you for you to see clearly going on high speeds but it does give illumination for safety so this is the magicycle deer beautiful bike great performance Nice top speed of about 28 miles an hour, sometimes hitting 29 depending on where you're going. It does have an automatic cruise control also set into it. That's one thing I want you to be aware of. It's one of those things. I think that's one thing I wish they would do is actually allow us to turn off the cruise control if you don't want it. Uh, I like a little more control when I'm doing my riding and if I'm going to let go throttle, I want it to stop. But, you know, to each his own. Some people actually really do like the, having the cruise control because once it sets, you can just pretty much relax and enjoy the ride and just hit the brake to get it released as well. This is the Magicycle Deer, the ESUV of e-bikes is what they're claiming. It is a fantastic, fantastic bike. And I got to say, Magicycle has been one of my favorite companies to review and to ride. Their bikes with 52-volt batteries are very, very powerful. They're very solidly made. Highly recommend them, honestly, to anybody. If someone wants to look uh, to go off-roading and have a really nice, powerful bike, this bike also has a 20-amp-hour battery. And that 20 amp hours can go, they say claiming, I believe, up to 50 miles. Uh, but that would be, of course, an ideal condition. So actually, they're saying range is about 60 to 80 miles. Uh, I would say you can comfortably get about 40 because, you know, when you're off-roading, you're going to be using a lot of the, the power depending on how you ride. But uh, it's a very, very good ride that you're going to get. You also get a 3 amp charger. That's a fast charger. Because of the size of this battery, that'll give you about 4 to 7 hours to charge. And it has a payload capacity of up to 400 pounds with the 12 magnet cadence sensors built in and the seven levels that you get of a pedal assist is very responsive. The power is definitely there. And uh, even the, the torque that you get out of this, it's, it's a super fun ride to go ahead and take off-road. Something I think one of the best uh, off-road bikes I've actually had so far to get a chance to ride. And don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.